Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video, and today I'm bringing us episode number 3 of Hut Roulette. And before I start up this video, I just want to let you guys know that I've been having a lot of problems with my recording device lately. This is actually like the third time I'm recording this episode, and for the past 3 games that I did record for Hut Roulette, all the footage has gone corrupt. I can't use it uh, to make an episode, so unfortunately, uh, all that footage is lost, a lot of wasted time. But unfortunately as well, we are already 6 points into Division 9, even though at the end of episode number 2, we're just starting Division 9 fresh for the first time. So we're going to be entering the Division 8 very, very soon. However, I am kind of excited about that because the opponents in Division 9 are just a little bit too easy as well. Uh, but for all the coins and all the players I got from the packs and the pickups from all that lost footage, I made sure to transfer over to my other account. So we're pretty much starting episode number 3 like it's actually supposed to. However, the only thing difference is that we're 6 points into Division 9. So hopefully you guys don't mind too much. And uh, I already re reinstalled all the software and all the firmware. So everything should be fine now. Uh, but I'll have to see if there's any more problems. I'm just hoping that there's no more wasted time. Because I've recorded this episode 3 times already. I'm just so sick of going through episode number 3. Getting pickups and then having to end up quick selling a lot of the players. So anyways... Enough talk about that, but we will go into the lineups right now. So on the first line, we got Boone Jenner, Alexander Barkov, and Braden Shen. On the second, we got Michael Froelich, Ryan Nugent Hopkins, and Matt Martin. On the third, we got Matt Nieto, Peter Holland, and Yannick Hansen. And on the fourth, we got Tom Wilson, Melker Carlson, and Sean Mathias. Alright, so that's our offense. Going on to our defense now, we got Mike Green, Matthias Ekholm on that first line, Johnny Aduya and Zach Bogosian on the second line, and Cody Franzen and Noah Hannafin on that third line. So, we'll see how this team plays. Before I start up a game, I just want to introduce a new rule into Hot Roulette that a lot of guys have been asking for, and I think will also make Hot Roulette more exciting. And that is, for every 5 game win streak that we get, we can set the rarity in the auction search page to rare. So before, every time we won a game, we can pretty much put the buy now maximum to whatever our coin total was, and that was pretty much just about it. But now if we get a five game win streak, we can set that rarity to rare. So it filters out all the non-rare players like Ryan Nugent Hopkins, Matt Martin, Matt Nieto. We won't be seeing any of those players in the auction search page. Instead, you'll be seeing players like Brandon Shen, Alexander Barkov, Boone Jenner, a lot of 85 plus players. And that's only if we can get a five game win streak. But anyways, let's get started into our first game. Uh, we are currently on a four game win streak. So if we can win this next game, we can already apply that rule. And I can show you what I mean by setting the rarities and stuff like that. So let's get right into it. I'll meet you in the game. See you there. All right, here we go, guys. He's got a pretty nice team. Hall, Taves, and Bossy on that first line. So we'll see how we end up playing in this first game of Hot Roulette. Hopefully we get this first goal. Oh my goodness. And what a snipe by his guy. And he beats uh, Hutchinson and uh, Bossy. That's a nice little shot by him. But anyways, one to nothing. Not a good first goal to give up. Oh no, another goal. I think we faced a, definitely a harder opponent. He's got Henrik Zitterberg as well. His one player is probably worth more than my whole team. So, unfortunately, we're down two goals now. We need to get a goal back. Alright, so definitely not a good start to the first period. We're already down two goals and we're not getting many shots as well. So, I think this guy just probably started up the game for the first time. And he's a pretty good player as well. And uh, it doesn't help that he has good players as well. So... We're going to need to catch back up. Hopefully in the second period we can get a goal back and make this comeback. Oh no, come on. Make the save. Oh, another big save by Hutchinson. Oh man, he's bailing me out on the breakaways for sure. That's like the second breakaway I've given up already. It just His players are so much faster than mine. But Oh, here we go. Nieto, Froelich, shoot it! There it is! Nice little snipe by Froelich and we make it 2-1. to one. Oh man, we're just one goal away from tying this game back up. Oh man, hopefully we can do it. Alright, so really not much commenting at all. I'm really super focused in trying to win this game because I really want to get that 5 game win streak. And also get that 6 one to open up this pack. So, we're only down by one goal. We're getting a lot more shots and time on attack as well. Hopefully I can break him down just a little bit more. Get another goal here.
No! And we give up the next goal. Oh man, short-handed as well. That is not a good goal to give up at all. 3-1 to one now. And he tips it in. Oh man, gotta get that goal back. Oh man, that is a frustrating game to give up. I definitely don't want to lose a player, but... I mean, that, that's the name of the game, Hot Roulette, and we do come up with a loss, so... I definitely think this guy bought, like, NHL recently and just started playing NHL. But that was a really tough-fought game for especially our team versus his team. That was probably worth, like, at least a million coins right there. 13-13 shots, even time on attack as well, but just cannot score any goals. But his team outplayed mine just a little bit. Van Reeves, like, Bodker and Bossy on his first line. Oh, Jesus. Alright, so, anyways, let's take a look at the shots on net, 13-13, to 13. so, I'm going to also be picking up a player after losing a player, so I'll go ahead and do all that right now. I mean, that is super frustrating, but those are the rules. However, I also will not be doing a pickup, because I just remembered, uh, from my previous hut roulette, I was able to restart the buy now minimum, and because that the rules are a little bit different, I'm just going to end up, if I get a loss, I won't do a pickup at all, but we will just take a random player off the team. So we'll go ahead and copy and paste this list into random.org, that has every single position on a uh, roster, so whatever we randomize is what we're going to be losing off the team, and it's going to be the third line right defender. Alright, so we'll go ahead, go back to the team, and we'll move him off the team. Okay, so we're back on the team, and we're going to be starting up our second game right away because we're not doing the pickup. But our third line right defender is Noah Hannafin, which is a little bit unfortunate, but it's not the greatest defender, so I'm not too mad about that. But we will be putting a left defender in that spot instead, and the only one we have is Brandon Davidson. So he'll be going in. I want to make sure that I have a lefty there so I can do those one-timers properly, so that should be okay for the next game. And at least I learned my lesson. I felt like I was going into the game like I was going to win it already. And I gave up a really early goal off the bat. So this time around, I've learned my lesson. I'm going in. I'm going to be playing strong from now on. And hopefully we can get this next win. So let's go. Alright, so we got a Leafs versus Leafs matchup. He's got Gilmore, McKinnon, and Eichel on his first line. So we're going to be playing a lot better this time around. Let's get started right into this first game. Let's see what we can do. Come on, get a shot on net. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, hits off the post. I thought that was going to trickle in. It's got a lot of good players. Zuccarello as well. A lot of fast, speedy players. So I got to be careful. Go, go, go. Nieto, you can beat him. You can beat him. There it is. That's a break. Backhand forehand or a double backhand. And that is a goal for us. Matt Nieto giving us a nice little lead there. We make it one to nothing. So, good lead to get. I, I just learned my lesson since my last game. I got to play a little bit harder against these guys with some good teams. But uh, now we got the lead. Alright, so the end of the first period. I really want to take a look at the stats right here. 6-4 to four in shots. 3 minutes time on attack to 2 minutes. So, we are playing a little bit better. But we still need a couple more goals. This guy is getting a lot of cross creaser chances. And I cannot give those up right now. So, still one to nothing. Let's have a good second period. There it is. Cross crease. Oh, Braden Shen missing out on a golden opportunity. Barkov back to the point. We're going to get a shot on net. Get a shot on net. Oh, man. There's a nice screen there. But we do draw a penalty. Jenner, come on. Get a shot on net. We got a tip. Shoot it. Oh my goodness, getting lots of good chances here, just cannot put it in the back of the net. Oh, what a pass, Nugent Hopkins, there it is, we gotta, you gotta get that insurance marker, this guy's too dangerous of a player, and we make it 2 to nothing. That went right through all their defenders, and Nugent Hopkins somehow picks up the puck and goes for a breakaway on a penalty, or a power play as well. So, not bad at all. Two to nothing now. Oh, Mike Green with that cross creaser. Usually I like to get those one-timers with the cross creaser, but Mike Green on the off-handedness also just tucks it in by Crawford, and we make it three to nothing. Oh, Matthias, he's got a break. Oh, oh, nice little move with a toe drag back, backhand. 
that end up does working. Matthias, not not that bad of a player actually with 86 skating. He's one of my best non-rare goal players for sure. So we make it four to nothing. We add on another tally for that. All right, so that is the end of the game. Got a couple more shots at the end there just to see if it's going to change the outcome of this pickup. But we did end up getting 1,127 coins. And we made sure not to disappoint in this last game. But, uh, man, I just did not want to lose that last game, which is a bit unfortunate. But still, we now buy a player from the marketplace. We got 23 shots that game. So let's go ahead into the marketplace and see who we pick up. Okay, so welcome back to the auction search page. I put the buy now maximum at our coin total, which is 6,690 coins. So hopefully we can p pick up something good for our team after that loss in the first game. But anyways, let's pick the 23rd player here and let's see what we get. So there's 14 players on this page. So we'll start on the next page and this should be number 15, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, Hampus Lindholm. Honestly, that is a really good pickup. We need a better left defender, and 86 overall Hampus Lindholm is definitely going to satisfy that. So let's go ahead, buy Hampus Lindholm out, and we'll go back to the team. Okay, so welcome back to the team, and uh, I've already decided where I want to put Lindholm right now, and I think it's going to be in the place of Matthias Ekholm. Although he's an 83 overall, he isn't my greatest defender at all. He's actually really, really slow. So putting in Hampus Lindholm there is definitely going to make that first line defender spots a lot, lot better for sure. So that is pretty much it for episode number three. Hopefully it comes out well and it's not corrupt like all my other files. But we're still at 5.9k coins. We're on a one game win streak. So we're going to try to get that second and third game win streak in the next episode of Hot Roulette. So anyways, that's about it guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like if you guys did enjoy it. And I'll see you guys later. Bye. Basically what I want to do is I want to bring the puck around the board so that my wingers can get the puck right away. And they will be the first one down to that puck usually. Especially on power plays. Um, a lot of people will not let me step into that defensive zone.